Yo guys, James Bond is one of my absolute favorite movie characters of all time. And the James Bond series is probably my favorite movie series of all time. So let's have a look at the movie that started it all back in 1962. So let's talk about it. Before we begin, this video may contain a few spoilers for the movie Doctor No. So if you haven't seen this movie yet, check it out and then come back to this video. With all that said, I'm gonna start this time with the negative so I can end on a positive note. So all that said, let's start with the negatives. Unfortunately, I have a few negatives for this movie. And first off, the movie is over 50 years old and the budget wasn't that high at all. So there are some very dated special effects, like mainly the car chase of this movie. The rear projection is very, very dated. And also some of the music is very dated. Even though the Bond theme itself has aged incredibly well. The rest of the music didn't age all that well. And this movie doesn't have a whole lot of action, which you may expect from a Bond movie. And this movie doesn't have the cool spy gadgets yet, where the Bond films are known for. But those last two negatives are not necessarily complaints for me, but I can see that other people would have a problem with that. And those are actually all the negatives I can think of for this movie. And then we can talk about the good. And one thing I really love about this movie is that it's very creative. Like mainly the gun barrel sequence. Just how do you come up with something like that? In 1962, it was never seen before. Now it's one of the most well-known openings of all time. But back then, people had never heard of something like that. So then to see a movie open up with something like that must have been mind-blowing. I wish I was there to see it in 1962. And the cast for the most part is very good. Bernard Lee as M is very good. Lois Maxwell as Miss Moneypenny is pretty good. Jack Lord as Felix Leiter is great. And the actor who played Kroll is very good. And I do find it pretty hard to judge Ursula Andress because she's dubbed over. Because apparently she didn't speak that much English. But she is pretty hot though. So even though uh, I can't judge her performance, I'll just judge her by her looks. And that is a very big positive. But by far, the standout performance of this movie is Sean Connery as James Bond. Just the way he does everything. Like the way he walks, the way he talks. It's all just very cool. I just wish to be as cool as Sean Connery. And the movie is very easy to follow. Because the plot is pretty easy actually. Bond has to find out uh, who killed Agent Strangways. And that's pretty much the entire plot. But it's still great to see James Bond investigate all these places. And that's actually my main thing I love about this movie. It's not an action movie per se. 
but this is just a down-to-earth spy thriller, which I also really love. And you have all these cool spy scenes, like James Bond powdering his briefcase so that if someone touches it, it leaves fingerprints on it, and putting his hair for the closet, so if the hair is removed, then he knows that the closet has been opened. So that is all just very cool stuff. And I think it's a shame that a lot of the other James Bond movies don't do a lot of that spy stuff. The later ones become more action movies than actual spy thrillers. But this movie is just straight up a spy thriller. And that is something I really love about this movie. And this movie contains some of my favorite scenes from the entire James Bond series. I already did a top 10 favorite Bond moments from Sean Connery. And a few scenes that I really love and that are very iconic are his introduction scene, which is probably my favorite character introduction of all time. And the scene where Honey Ryder walks out of the ocean is also one of my absolute favorite moments of the series. And this movie contains probably my favorite cold-blooded kill of the entire series. Where this guy, Professor Dent, tries to get his gun and shoot James Bond. And the James Bond just knows he is out of bullets and he just says this badass line. Mr. Smith and Wesson. And you've had your six. And of course I gotta talk about the James Bond theme. Which is one of the most iconic and well known themes of all time. And it's one of my personal favorites as well. Put all these elements together and you have an amazing start to one of the best film franchises of all time. And a movie that I absolutely love. So in the end I'm gonna give this movie a 9 overall and a 9.5 on the entertainment scale. And this is a must watch for James Bond fans. If you're not a Bond fan, this is probably not the best movie to start with. Now, comment down below what you thought about Dr. No. Did you hate it? Did you love it? Did you think it was meh, okay? Comment down below, I'm very curious. And I'm gonna see you later.